Hi, I'm Jack Buffington and I'm going to show you a electronic circuit that can help you with some of your projects. If you ever happen to have a circuit that could be damaged by having over voltage applied to it, here is a little circuit that can help you. Uh, a few years ago I had a project where I was building things that some volunteers would use that we had a little uh, adjustable LM317 voltage regulator set up for them to adjust the speed of a motor. Not all of the motors that we were using could handle the full voltage that we could apply to them. And we were occasionally getting mysterious failures because the motors would burn out because they accidentally bumped it too high or maybe even intentionally but didn't realize that it would hurt it. So uh, I came up with this circuit to prevent that. Now I'm going to reorient the camera so that I can aim it at a piece of paper where I have it documented. Okay. There we go. Okay, so the basics of the circuit are, we'll just look at the, the this section here right now that shows how the motor is turned on and off. What we have is the motor and one lead of it is connected to the positive voltage rail and then we have a MOSFET and that is uh, connected in between the motor and ground. The gate of the motor goes through a resistor to positive. So any time that the voltage is high enough that the gate can turn on, so will the motor. Now, here's the section that turns it off when the voltage gets too high. And what I've created here is sort of a, a voltage divider between a Zener diode and a resistor. Now, what happens is the Zener diode is connected to the positive rail and the resistor to the ground. When the voltage rises above the breakdown voltage of the Zener diode, the voltage coming out of the center tap of the voltage divider will turn on this MOSFET, which then creates another voltage divider between this 10K resistor and the MOSFET. Now, the MOSFET's resistance will be a lot less than the 10K resistor when it's turned on, and so that will drive the gate of this MOSFET low, which will turn off the motor. So that's that's a interesting little circuit, and you can actually make it using perf board, or uh, I had actually some small circuit boards made for this, and they're single-sided. And here I had the 470k resistor that formed uh, half of the voltage res uh, voltage divider with the Zener diode. Then I had a uh, MOSFET, the Zener diode, another MOSFET, and the 10K resistor. And both of the MOSFETs, in this case I was using IRLZ44 MOSFETs, which are logic level N channel type MOSFETs. And uh, they're arranged here, gate, drain, source, and uh, unfortunately I didn't document the Zener diode which way it goes, but just test it out. If you have the Zener diode one way, it'll work, and if you have it the other way, it won't work, and you'll know then. Alright, so this has been Jack Buffington showing you an electronic hack.